in every moment. The more that you allow life to guide you, the more you will find days are a beautiful adventure unfolding before you. The amount of trust that you need to put into life is something new for you. This idea that you trust that life will take you where you want to go. And there's a difference, this following of life and letting life guide you because you actually are following with a forward momentum and moving towards a destination, although your human mind can't fully see where this destination will be going. This is different than sitting back and letting life happen to you. You'll know the feeling when you're in it because one of them is a more of a stagnant and a giving up in disbelief that everything is working to be the beautiful unfolding of you as a creative human being. Whereas letting life guide you is a form of surrender, but it's a leaning into, it's a diving into, it's a being guided forward, taking the hand of life and letting it bring you forward step by step, path by path into the magical woods of life. On this path are new people and new experiences that you wouldn't have had the openness to meet if you were guiding it yourself. If you let all of the experiences of your life become a part of the tapestry and saying, this is all happening for me and these experiences are brought to me to enrich and enliven and enlighten my life, suddenly every person becomes a character in your personal story. All of these characters in this magical tale. If the story of your life is being penned in a golden ink on a book with ancient parchment papers and a book that has a red leather bound cover and a beautiful spine and scroll work and embroidery and all types of beautiful indentions and artistry to decorate it. What kind of story could go in a magical tale that is your life? Many people have forgotten that life is a magical tale and that your life is a magical journey. It's easy if you go to a boring place to work and you have a lot of things to do that do not feel exciting. These are why many people in this time, this era, are going back to the ancient ways where there's more delight and engagement in the everyday tasks. Even something as simple as a farmer's market or the grocery store you go to. If you've received no joy from going to the grocery and picking out the items and placing them in your basket or your cart, that'll be the things that will feed you and nourish you. If you had no delight in that, then that was another empty moment of your day. Whereas some people have decided, I will go to the market where everyone is bustling about and the farmer's market where I'm seeing the people who pulled the beets out of the ground and who chopped the lettuce heads off. Or they order online to escape the whole process of something that no longer sparks any light or joy with them. It's okay to skip the process if it's not one that's part of your magical tale. For many people, the magic is you click something and then something shows up at a later date and you didn't have to walk anywhere. And you were able to pick things out with your magic internet hand and put it in your magic internet basket and there it showed up at your door and the magic continued. Whatever way that you want to start re-engaging with the magic of your life, the more that you do this, the more that you start to, as some would say, have the eyes and the wonder of a child with your daily experiences, the more you start to see, wait a minute, the magic and the wonder and the excitement were with me all along. 
This world was right there beside me the whole time, but I was not using my eyes to see it. I had forgotten that it was there. For many people, you got locked into the duty and the tasks and the responsibility of adulthood. And what a sad and grim daily experience it is for many people. For many people, there's a sorrow. And the sorrow is not from a death, but it's more from the loss of play, the loss of happiness, and the loss of hope. And one way to bring that back is to start believing in the magic again. In the industry of coaching and personal development, there's a very common thing that people will ask when they start to work with someone. There's a very common phrase and they'll ask them, if you could wave a magic wand over your life, what would you do? Now, the people who are the coaches and the consultants and the people trying to be the guides to those who are engaging in this process, they think that they are looking for the fastest way to get to the heart of the matter with the client. And in some ways that does get to the heart of the matter quite quickly. But what is actually happening that they never even realized was they are re-engaging the person with magic. They are re-engaging. They are inviting the person, hello, would you like to step into a world in which possibility and magic is possible? If you would, here's what it looks like. I'm doing it. Do you want to do it? Do you want to play? That person says yes and engages and self-selects in or they self-select out. But when they choose to self-select in, whether or not they work with that individual on a one-to-one basis or group basis or however they engage with the excitement and the possibility, there's something in them that says, wait, now I am coming back into this place where I believe in magic even if just for pretend for a moment. I believe in possibility, even if it's just for this five minutes or 30 minutes. I will suspend my disbelief and engage with all the possibilities. And there is something so exciting about making the choice, about taking the step, about saying, yes, I will re-engage with the magic of the world, with the magic of being alive. Today, I invite you to say yes, to re-engage with the magic of being alive, to re-engage with the magic of life, to accept the invitation to move forward and let life guide you along the path of the magical tale that is your life. And with this, the channeled message is at an end. We are complete and we thank you for believing, for hoping, for engaging, and for feeling the love and the magic today. If this felt exciting to you and you think, I am saying yes to this invitation. I am re-engaging with magic. Then I invite you, there's a link below wherever this video or this audio is. You can sign up for the magic workbook to start re-engaging with magic in your life. To You can take this, this journey following life, guiding you through the magical tale and start seeing how you can find the magic. Now, the guide that you'll get through your email, it starts out with ways that you are jotting down in words or pictures. Art is fine. Doodles are fine. Words are fine. We'll have a series of questions where I ask you to document, to notice where are you finding the magic in your life? What is the magic that you want to find? And following this process putting it on paper, making it real, making it something that every day you're taking just a few minutes to check back in 
and think back on your day. Where did I see the magic? Where did I feel the magic? And you're putting it down in this guide. So as I said, there's a link below where you can sign up for that. It's totally free and very exciting to do. It has questions, doodles, and prompts from me. I am wishing you the best day for yourself filled with love, excitement, and a feeling of vitality and magic. See you next time. Bye.